Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Hey everybody, my name is Rodney Dupree with Cajun Living and Cooking. And due to some of the tough times we have in our area right now, due to the coronavirus and the pandemic, uh, we won't be able to go film shows. So uh, we're going to ask for everybody to stay safe like we are. Uh, use your Lysol, clean up. Uh, we're going to air some of our older shows, and uh, we'll have our new commercials on it, and uh, everybody stay safe. Check out the shows. Like us on Facebook, but uh, thanks for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Hey, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree, and today we got a treat for you. It's a reunion of the Bridge City Levee Rats, and they go way back to the 70s. That goes back to New Orleans way. Now I'm gonna tell you what, the, the, but the key to the show today, what we're doing, is we're gonna ball crawfish three different ways. We're gonna ball them traditional, we're gonna ball them freshwater, and we're gonna ball them West Baton Rouge style. So this ought to be pretty neat. And we got potatoes, onions, corn, sausage, and everybody else. So Cajun living and cooking's fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all. The key to crawfish is to get them washed up. Can't use them fresh out the back. Now what I've learned, when we was younger, we used to put the salt on them and kill them and all that. Now, what, we, what would I do now, and there's a million ways to do it, I dump them in fresh water, and as soon as the water gets dirty, you dump it out, add more fresh water, and when your water's clean, then you got clean crawfish. These are some nice crawfish. They come out of uh, some fella over at the Ward Ownerville brought them to us, and uh, they, they look pretty big. It's some nice crawfish. I'm gonna put a sack in each one so we'll be evened out because we got the three different techniques for cooking them. Now, uh, some people still put salt, some don't. I've seen people dump them right out the bag in there. Look at that. I mean, this will be the uh, this will be the last of the pond crawfish. That uh, that fella said he was shutting it down next week. They sure are lively. These were caught Friday too. And look at that. That's a that's a river crawfish, which is a little different. The river crawfish has those long claws, and they're always brown, and the fat's a little different, too. Let's look in this one, see what we got in here. Sometimes you'll find that blue crawfish, that rare blue crawfish that you can keep in an aquarium. Somebody said you can sell them on the internet for $25. That's river crawfish right there, too. See the different claws? They got the long claw. I love them, they're sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's look at this one. This one you got to bend down a little further. I don't have three tables. Big crawfish, though. Very big crawfish. Look at there. All right, well, we're going to get them washed up. And as soon as we can get them clean, we're going to light the fires. All right, y'all, they, they pretty washed up. The water's good and clear now. I'm going to go ahead and take them out. Uh, a lot of people use a lot of techniques. You can use the sack and a number three tub. I use these tubs. Uh, I used to have a crawfish balling stand, and uh, my dad knitted me this net. We found a net at Cabela's, and he knitted it for me. So that's the easiest way I found to get them out of here. Just dip them out and scoop them out. But don't try to do it without the water, because you can't get them out. You'll be crushing crawfish in here. Some nice crawfish. It's that time of year, though. Now, uh, I think that's the end of the pond season. Like I was saying earlier, I believe he's through with the ponds. Spillway, from what I hear, is supposed to have crawfish till about July 4th. Uh, they just now getting good water in the spillway. There we go, there's two sacks. And put one more in here. Now we got a bunch of people coming for this reunion. 
and we're going to let them be the test of which kind of crawfish they like out of the three different ways we ball them. I guess it's going to kind of depend on where they're from or where they've been living too. If they all from over from the uh, the levy the levy rats, I don't know what style that is. They might have their own style. Now these three ways is not the only way to ball crawfish. There's a hundred ways to skin a possum, and the same thing goes for crawfish. All right, we got them all out. I'm fixing to check the waters, and we're gonna start putting them in. So y'all hang tight. All right, y'all, what we got going is three different kinds of crawfish. Three different ways to ball crawfish. This is gonna be the traditional one. What everybody around here does pretty much is uh, where you put the seasoning in and you let it soak. Now the next one, this one I'm gonna ball in fresh water and then put them in the seasoned water. Now this one is the West Louisiana crawfish. This is the one where you ball them a little while for a little bit of seasoning and you end up throwing them in the ice chest and sprinkling over the top and they steep, steam in there. So I'm adding all the seasonings now. Pretty much the same. I'm putting the seasons about the same, but it's just the different techniques on how you do them. The, uh, the one in the fresh water, I'm gonna ball this in fresh water and then it's gonna set in here in the, in the seasoned water. Now I will bring it up to temperature. Put about yay much. The uh, this is the way holding the wild balls there, crawfish. Now the this one here, they don't put as much seasoning. They just put a little, and then they come back and put it on them when they soak it. When when they steep it, them is what they do. So you don't need near much as much in here. All their seasoning's gonna get on it when they get in the ice chest. Now this pot here, I'm gonna ball the potatoes and the corn and the sausage and the mushroom and you know all the other stuff will go in this one. Uh, I quit balling my potatoes and corn and sausage with the crawfish because it varies with the time. You might get raw potatoes, sometimes you get the corn frozen, sometimes you, things just don't work out. So I'll ball them on the side and they come out just right. All right, so I'm fixing to fire them all up, get the crawfish clean, and we're getting it rolling right now. This is the symphony of crawfish balling. Traditional, clear water, Lafayette style. And then the potatoes and corn and everybody's gonna be in here. It's my symphony. Traditional one. Get them boys in there. Put a little bit of seasoning with them. I got onions, garlic, and celery. So we're gonna let these come back to a ball. First ones are down. Water's balling too. I'm ready to put them in there. And we're going to put a little bit of celery, onions, and garlic in the clear water. watching crawfish ball in the clear water. You don't get to see that too often. This is where they're gonna end up soaking in here in the, in the seasoned water. We're getting it up to a boil. And this one here for our Lafayette style, West, West Louisiana style, I like to say, just about ready to ball. 
I think they take their time in West Louisiana. They, they don't get in a big hurry, so it takes a little longer for their water to boil. Potatoes are coming around. All right, we're getting them going. And when we come back, I'm going to show you what's really going on. Porsche's Sausage, located in French Settlement, is bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor and customer service. This third generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites. Hall cracklings, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on-site butcher has all your specialties. Smoked tasso and hocks, andouille, meat sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou Blend. Come and experience Porsche Sausage. It's a wonderful thing. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories, like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today. Living through Mower Supply and Home Center, an authorized Hustler, Bobcat, and Toro lawnmower dealer. Specializing in service, support, and satisfaction. Come see the wide selection of new mowers, ports, string trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and much more. Our home center features hardware, feed, outdoor cooking supplies, hunting gear, and everything for the do-it-yourself homeowner. Come take a short country drive to the hidden jewel of Livingston and experience real professional knowledge and health. Livingston Mower Supply and Home Center. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Welcome back to Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all. First one is done. Now, when I cook, I call the traditional, the way I cook crawfish, I let it come up almost to a rolling ball. You'll get those white clear bubbles coming up. It'll foam up, foam up, and you get the white clear bubbles. At this point, I turn it off and I soak for 30 minutes. This one is the clear water trick. Uh, I brought it to a ball. It's just come to a ball. And we're gonna do the same technique, really, except we're going into the seasoned water. I brought this seasoned water up to a ball, and I'm gonna have to put them in there. What I'll do, I'll let them drain this clear water out, and then I'm gonna soak, sit them in the seasoned water that's already seasoned. So all the dirt that was on these crawfish should be in this water. We'll get a look at that in a minute, too. Well, I can say a lot of dirt came off of there, too. Now they're in here just soaking. Should be clean. The third pot is the West Baton Rouge side. Like I was saying earlier, they take their time in West Baton Rouge, because I haven't even got this to come up the ball yet, so. They must need more beverages for their crawfish are done. Well, we fix to get crawfish in here in a minute, though. All right, y'all, what I usually do is I put my potatoes in my seasoned water first. I ball them and ball them and ball them. And I'll choke, I'll check them with the knife. I'll bring them up, bring them up when they're almost done. And then potatoes take about 20 minutes usually. When they're almost done, I'll dump my sausage in. Once I dump the sausage in, I'll get the mushrooms ready and the corn ready. And you know if you leave that corn in there too long, it'll burn you up. So that's the whole key to the corn, not, not being in there as long. This frozen corn is already cooked. Uh, you know, it's already par blanched. Now all you really do is heating it up through. So we fixing to get the corn and the mushrooms in there with the potatoes, and hopefully we're gonna get them Lafayette, uh, Lafayette, West Louisiana crawfish in there very soon. All right, I'm gonna put the mushrooms in. Mushrooms, one of them things that it don't add flavor. It only takes in the flavor of what you put in it. You know, unlike garlic adds flavor, celery adds flavor and onions add flavor. Well, the sausage, the potatoes, and the mushrooms don't add flavor. They just take in all the flavors you put in. All right, I'm gonna put the corn in now. Everybody in, 
Everybody get in there. Got two big old bags of corn. All right, I'm gonna want this to come back to a ball now. When this comes back to a ball, I'm gonna shut it off and let it soak a little while. But the longer you soak it, the hotter that corn gets. All right, I'm going in with the West Louisiana style. It's finally balling over here. Y'all all get in there. Equal parts, onion, celery, and garlic. Give them a good stir. Now these are gonna be a little different than what we used to around here. And that's funny, we all live in the same state and we cook them all different, but that's just the way it is. All right, let's bring them to a ball. Now one of the things I do, and a lot of people do, they'll cut lemons and put it in there. If you put your lemon in there in the beginning, citrus cooks out at 140 degrees, so all you end up is decoration. So what I do, halfway through my soaking time, that's when I add my lemon juice. And I like to put two or three lemons. That's one, two, that's two, that's three, that's three lemons in there. And about two or three lemons in here, that's about three lemons right there. You ought to be below 140, so therefore the citrus won't cook out and you'll get some of the flavor in the pot. And I'm curious to how close these two are gonna taste, one in uh, fresh water and one traditional. Let's look at our our Lafayette style. See if they come to a ball yet. No, they're taking their time. Them boys don't get in a hurry over there at all. But it's coming around though. All right, soaking now. Fixing to have something, we're fixing to pull potatoes, corn, mushrooms out. Y'all stay tuned. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food and Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans style press po'boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life-threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all, I got this soaked long enough. I don't want to burn the corn up. Let that drain a little bit. And uh, the crowd's just starting to get here. And uh, what we're doing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump the stuff in the, in the totes and they can pick out what they want. We brought some scoops and then uh, what we'll do is we'll have some trays in a little while and they can go around and uh, we're gonna see which crawfish they like. Well, number one, two, three. 
Y'all gonna know, but the people here won't know. These are gonna be number one, the traditional. Number two will be the fresh water. And number three will be the West Louisiana. Now this is a true boil. This is when they're really boiling. And uh, the traditional crawfish that I cook don't quite go to the true ball like that. But since we're not gonna soak in here, I've let them ball now for three and a half minutes, almost four minutes of balling. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shut them off. Now what I'm gonna do, now what I'm gonna do next while, I'm, while I shut them off, they don't soak in the water, you know? They don't soak in the water. What they're gonna do is they're gonna end up getting put in here and they're gonna steep the seasoning. So unlike the traditional or the freshwater crawfish, it'll just be steeped. Now, uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, I went to some fellas over in uh, Crowley and I seen some fellas in Lafayette cooking it that same way. And uh, they were good. They just don't have, it's a different flavor. It's not as much juice in them. pretty hot too. All right, what they do is they dump them in there and then they come back and season them. They put the seasoning to them. Put it to them and then they stir them up just like you would if they were soaking. Get them all soaked, all stirred up real good. You won't be able to see that powder. Shouldn't be able to see that powder at the end. I didn't put much, much seasoning in the water. So it was only cooked in a little tiny bit of seasoning. Now, these guys are gonna get covered and let them steam for about 25 minutes. All right, y'all, soap time's over. This is traditional. We're going to call these number one. These will be traditional. This water does look a little cleaner, I'm going to have to say. Because all the dirt's in the cleaner water. All right, y'all, let me get your name, where you're from. I'm Robert Hovind from Santa Monica, Louisiana. All right, bro, this is the three different styles. Try this one first. All right. This is number one. This one, I bought all of them three different ways. And you can see what you see what you like on the three different ways, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you eat them. So what's the different ways you uh, Well, well the first way, I'm not going to tell you which is which, but I'll tell you the three different ways. The first way is traditional, where you soak them in your, ball them in your seasoning, soak them for 30 minutes. Second way. We boiled them in fresh water right. and then soaked them in the seasoned water. All right. And then the third way we did it, you just boil them in a little bit of seasoning and you and you, you sprinkle the seasoning on them and let them steep and soak, steam the seasoning in that way. Then I got you. Now you've had two so far, you got one more to try. Is it close? Man. These two are close. Them two are close. These two are close. More spicy for sure. Yeah. This one right here, if I had to guess, my favorite one is right here. Yeah? This one right here, number two. Number one's good. All right, let's get another contestant in here. I like this one. You going with one. Go All with right, one. we got one, two, one, one. Let's see what he takes. You like the middle? Just too salty, just right. All right. Yeah, just like Goldilocks. Like awesome. The middle. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, is it number one? Is it number two? Or is it number three? And the winner is? The winner is? I would go first, second, third. All right, you heard it. All right, let's get somebody else up here. And the winner is number three. Number three, two, one. Three, two, one. All right, you heard it right here. Three, two, one. That's from the West Bank. Spicy. West Bank. And the winner is? Number three. West Baton Rouge wins again. Number two. 
I mean, that's, that's number one. Number two, number three. All right, right here. You heard it. All right, next. I need another contestant. Definitely the third. You going three? Third's the best. That is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing, y'all. That's three in a row for number three. Definitely. All right, I'm going to get your name and where are you from? Angela from Booty. Uh, which crawfish you like the best? Or did you just, you just eat the I, ones that I'm gave you? I'm just eating. All yeah. right, all right. <laughs> Let me get your name and where are you from? Uh, Denise Bro Stackowitz from Buffalo, New York. All right. You come a long way to eat some crawfish. Yep. How you like them? I love them. Yes. They're delicious. And your name and where are you from? I'm Jenna Bro and I'm from Marrero. All right. You got your favorite crawfish? Yeah. <laughs> you do? I'm good. You like crawfish. Good. Let me get your name. Where are you from? K Bro Marrero. And you got your favorite? Oh, oh yes. that's a big one you got. It sure is. You can make a po' boy out of the claw. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thanks for talking with me. Thank you. All right, you've seen it right here, y'all. And I'm going to have to call it a tie. We had a bunch of people picking twos, a bunch of people picking ones, a bunch of people picking threes. So I don't know who won. This wasn't scientific anyway. So what I'm going to say with this is wherever you at in Louisiana, when you ball your crawfish, you just keep balling them the way you do it. Because everybody likes everybody else's crawfish too. And uh, hopefully you picked up a new way to ball crawfish or uh, a little secret or something that uh, you might throw into your crawfish ball next time. So thank you all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. We'll be back next week. Hey, I hope y'all like the show. Uh, during these hard times right now with the coronavirus, uh, things are going to get better. And together, we're going to be able to uh, fix this, you know. We're going to go back to normal soon. And when things do go back to normal, I want y'all to let us know your events coming up. When things are coming, give us a call. Uh, I want to thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and we'll see you next week. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information, dctofla.com.